things first is that we're going to be using the front and the side viewport okay so in order to get another screen in blender okay you can right click an edge like so okay and then you can do a split okay you can right click an edge right here and then do let's say a vertical split and then it allows you to kind of move your mouse and then if i click there i get two screen cool all right so when you want to get rid of it you right click and then you join areas okay we're not going to show that but that's how you do it. So you right click to do a vertical split or if you want a horizontal split, okay? Anyway, so we're there, we split it, okay? So this one I'm gonna dedicate to the front, this one the side viewport. So you can hit the tilde right here and then go side, okay? Or you can just press um, number three, you get the right orthographic side. Remember our orthographic and perspective, okay? So I have this two one, right? So first is we want to drag the front photo into the screen. So I have Finder open on a Mac. In Windows, you probably have File Explorer, okay? So click and drag that. There's my front. And then I'm going to drag one for the side. All right. Okay, so just so that we could see this, I'm going to go to my 3D angle right here. Okay. We're good so far. All I did is drag those two images. So I'm going to go back to number three right here. Okay. So when you do that, you actually get to see those empty right here. They're represented as an empty. They're basically a file. It's a photo represented uh, as a plane. Okay. So I'm going to select the first one, this one right here. We're going to rename the empty to this one is the front photo. Okay. And it's going to say photo right there. I'm going to select the other one. This is the side photo. So there's no question later on which one is which when you just select them using the collection right here or your outliner. Okay, next we need to center this. So I'm gonna select the front first, okay? And screencast, I know, I know, screencast, screencast. Okay, I'm gonna press N. I'm gonna to go to the item tab. As you can see, there's values on the location because when you move these things, you get those values. So I'm gonna zero this out. <gasps> No uh, keyframe in there. Okay. So the best way to zero this out is to click and hold your mouse and drag it down. So you can see I got all three values selected and I'm going to type in zero and that thing just centers itself right there super quick. Or if you want to do it the classic way, right? Like back in the 90s. Zero. Press the parameter. Press zero. So I'm just doing my Ben Stein uh, impersonation here, folks. Forgive me. Okay, so if I rotate this, you can see here alignment, all right? And look at that, okay? So if you remember your um, Super Mario 64, when you look at the trees, they have photos of the front of the tree and the side of the tree. And then whenever you look at it like this, it looks like a 3D tree, but you're just looking at papers. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so what I'll do here is uh, move this... Um, side viewport a little bit forward so that we could see the two kind of separated in there okay like so i'm going to change this back to number three okay so we have this set up now so at this point best thing for you to do is save okay save this one call this one here's a really nice little technique okay so i'm going to call this one cat mask stage zero one stage zero one so this is my first try so if i click on save here next time i want to save and keep zero one as a separate file all i do is uh, save as and then you got your plus sign right here so if you click plus it updates that to zero two then you get stages all right all of this wouldn't matter if you remember to save on the last minute <laughs> Okay, the point to this is that let's say you're working on cat mask stage four and it got corrupted somehow, like you can't open it, something went wrong because that happens. Then at least you have stage three to go back to. There's also file and recover last session or whatever the autosave file was. So when you crash, don't freak out. Don't try to reopen the last one. See first if it can recover the last session. If your last session is not too recent, 
your auto save might be then try the auto save okay so these two things right here are your first options okay if none of those are actually recoverable then at least you name them in different stages then you're good to go all right so i'm gonna press n to get rid of uh that one we have more space okay and what we're gonna do now is create our plane okay so i'm gonna go shift a mesh plane that plane is pancake flat on the ground there it is you can't use that because it's hard to see so we have to rotate it so i'm just going to do r x 90 for rotate along the x 90 degrees and press enter if you don't want to do any of those stuff you simply press n and then you type in x 90 degrees pick your own poison okay so there's several ways to do the exact same thing so what I want to do with this, since this cat mask is symmetrical, meaning right side and left side is the same, we just need to model one side. My preference is modeling the right side. Some people do the left. Well, you're stuck with me, so you probably will do the same thing I'm doing. Okay? So it's same thing when we model uh, human heads or anything that's uh, symmetrical. By the way, you're not symmetrical. You just look like it, right? You want to be surprised? Look in the mirror. You're one eye is drooping slightly i know depressing when you notice these things okay you're actually not symmetrical but we still model those symmetrical and then we just do our little uh, uh, manipulation so that they're not symmetrical so they're realis realistic but you have to wait for that okay all right so i'm going to select the uh, plane okay we're going to rename this now okay we're going to call this one this is our cat mask mesh okay naming this thing so that we don't get confused okay so we got our mesh separate we got our front photo side photo so on and so forth okay i'm going to select before i go into this i'm going to select my front photo okay and i'm going to go to the tab right here for the image i'm going to click on transparency i'm going to lower the opacity a little bit so it's not too solid because i don't need to see the entire thing i just need to see the lines okay I'm going to do the same thing for the side. All right. So now they're both semi-transparent. Okay. I'm going to select my object also, my um, plane. I'm going to click on X-ray mode. So this itself is see-through. And I'm going to do see-through on that one as well. Okay. First things first, though, we need to create our mirror modifier. Okay. So, so we can only model one side and then it mimics the other one. So first thing we want to do with this is apply, um, uh, apply a, a mirror modifier. So we do have the modifier uh, lesson now. It's uploaded, okay? So if you guys want to check that out, it's like a primer, what they do and how to apply them. So I'm going to go here with the plane selected, all right? The mask selected. I'm going to go to this wrench looking tab, crescent, okay? add modifier and apply mirror okay we can't see the mirror because we are not in edit mode okay we have to be in edit mode so you'll actually see it because right now if i press g the whole thing moves we want to be in edit mode so i'm going to go to edit mode i'm going to be in point mode so i got all those point modes so if i scale this one and move it there it is you see it Whatever I do on the right, it mimics on the left. So we only need to model one side, okay? So what do we need to do here? It's actually simple, okay? The reason why you have these two images here because you have matching image, right? What we need to find is find this four side here and then figure it out where it is over here. That makes sense? Okay, so let's do this. Let's do something where we can all kind of track okay you see this one right here this is actually not a triangle okay this is four sided there's one point over there you can't see it it looks like a triangle but this is four sides okay so let's take a look one two three four you see those so over here this one is the corresponding one is this one right one two three four so this particular quad is that one that makes sense all right so all we have to do is find those four and match it so let's uh, find the easiest one first so uh, what about this one so it's just 
one, two below, one, two below, this one. So I'm gonna start right there. So I'm gonna click my first point, press G and just put it in the corner. I'm using the front only, ignore the uh, side view for now. I'm gonna zoom in on this one so that I could see that better. All right. All right, you're probably wondering, what if I don't just wanna model a mask? Well, that's why we have reference photos or drawings. So if you want to build your own character, you have to have a front and a side profile and a quarter view profile to finally get that, okay? So this one I kind of simplified. So we're done with the front, but this is useless to us because look at it, it's just stuck there. No es bueno. We want to match this now, this four points to the four points here. But the thing is, you can't select the points over here because you can't see them. So you always select the point in the front and then you go over here. So where is this point over here? It's right there, right? So that's the corresponding one. So I'm just going to go press G and then Y axis because Y only goes up and down. Because if you do free movement here on G, guess what? All that hard work you did, even though you put it right there, there's no guarantee that it will remain over here. You see it, it's slightly up. So let me click undo. So I'm just gonna G, Y, and then just kind of move that forward like so. Select it here, G, Y. Select it here, G, Y. There's no need to select it there because it's the only remaining point right here. So I'm just going to select that GY. All right. Now let's take a look. So we have created the first patch. Okay. So watch this demo. I'm just going to switch from point to edge. Okay. One and two. One, two. I'm going to go with number uh, two right here. Edge selection. I'm going to press E to extrude. Okay. There it is. So at first I'm gonna do this kind of slow. Once you figure this out, we're gonna go faster because we'll be here forever. Okay, I'm gonna move those two points. Where are those two points supposed to be over here? Well, this is the next quad right here. So this is the first quad, this is the next quad. So that point belongs to that area right there. So GY, I can select it here because I could see it. You only wanna select in the front when you can't see it here. Okay, so GY. There it is. Select number two, edge, press E. I'm actually gonna park that in there so I don't even need to worry about it. There's that. Then over here, GY, that's the one, edge of the ear. All right, so now let's take a look. All right, look at it, starting to shape. We're getting that curvature right there, okay? So let's move on. I'm gonna press number two here, go edge mode. I'm gonna go select all those three lines right there. Very important you don't press E and then your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your spouse yelled at you. And you go like, what? I already took the garbage. And then press E again, because you got distracted. So now you have two extrusions here. Oh, actually. I didn't press E on the first one. You go like this, okay. What? And E again. Do you see it? You better, well, I mean, there's a way to fix it, but this will make your modeling life miserable, okay? Whenever you have this extras, it's a lot more work cleaning up stuff. So if you're not sure you press E twice, you can always click undo, of course. Always select just one edge and then press G just to kind of move it. Because if you move it like that, nothing moved, then you got it in there, okay? I'm gonna select those, I'm gonna press E. All right, press one for point. Move those in place. So you can see here, I'm getting brave now. I'm just not using what? Uh, one uh, point at a time. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there, right there. So it's a, qu uh, it's a quad, all right? All right, let's go over here. That one goes over there, that one over there, this one. All right, okay, 
And the other thing that you could do here is this. You accidentally rotate your camera just slightly. Okay? And you're not in front mode anymore. And that will make your life more miserable. Okay? So always make sure you're in the front and the side. Okay, so we got that. Let's take a look. Ooh, there it is. Okay, let me accelerate the demo here by selecting more of these. Just like those. Press E. All right, I'm gonna press E right here. One, two. All right, so I'm expanding this one now, okay? So I'm gonna go right here. There's a way to kind of do clipping in the uh, tutorial here. So uh, if you watch, uh, I think in Iron Man we covered that one. Anyway, we can talk about that later. So I'm just positioning this in the front, not a care what this looks like here. So now we're gonna go back to selecting in the front because look in the side. We can't see where those points are. You can only tell those things if you're here. So if I select that one, okay, where's that over here? It's that one right there. See? So I'm gonna go GY, put that in there. How about the next one? It's that next one right there. Third one is still in position because we just made that. Same thing here. It's that point right there. Where is this point? It's right there. So if you're having difficulty find, trying to find where these things are, have someone help you. I don't know, right? We're not trying to make fun of you if you can't see those things, but some people struggle with this. They cannot tell where this point is over here. The best way is to count. One, two, three, corner. One, two, three, corner. Okay? So, you gotta, you gotta count. Okay? But if you're struggling with that, have someone help you. Okay? Hopefully they don't uh, mess with you after that one because they're gonna say, you can't see where that thing is, but some people just cannot see these things. I've seen it before, it drives them nuts. Okay. Now I got all those. Look, let me turn off my x-ray. All right, so we're getting the shape. All right, number three right here. Okay, let's keep going. Press E. Okay, so now it gets easier because the curvature, look, it's not as flat anymore because we got those kind of distributed in there. So I'm just going to quickly kind of trace that. All right. And then over here, I don't even need to select in the front because they're distributed well in here. Well enough that I can just see them and then just kind of move them into position. Next, press E again, lower that a bit, okay, and then over here, okay, and over here, okay, it looks like it, where it's going to go, that corner, it's right there, so. Here, you gotta zoom in. See that little gap? That small gap right here, it's this big of a gap over here. Because this is a side viewport. All right. So now, um, I'm going to uh, create the eye right here. So I'm gonna separate, uh, not separate, but I'm gonna break away from selecting everything just so that you could see how that might kind of work. So I'm going to select those three right there. Press E to extrude. Go to point mode. All right. Let's go over here. That's the one that goes over there. Corner. 
corner VI. Okay, here I'm going to press um, E again. Select that and press E. One, two, three. Okay. Then I'm going to switch to point mode. Okay, over here, let's take a look at those. Select those two right there. You can select multiple points, folks. You don't have to just move one point at a time. I'm just doing that for the sake of demoing and simplifying things. All right, so let's create, uh, I'm gonna select number two, that one and that one. I'm gonna press F as in face. Look, it just connected the two together. Okay, but you might not like that because the angle kind of went like this and it's flipped. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click undo. I'm going to extrude this one first, at least, like so. And what I'll do is at least repair this one because that would be a terrible demo if your normals or your uh, polygon flips. Okay, so now we can do it. Select this one. So I'm basically going to bridge this. So you can right click and bridge. Or you can just press F as in a face right there. And then how do we get those cuts? Well, you know how to do that. Control R or loop cuts. Scroll your mouse until you get three of them. Okay, and then you can just press G to move. All right. And finally here, that completes the eye socket in a way. Not really socket, but the eye shape. Okay. You know what's even cooler to make than the Iron Man? Spider-Man mask. You can just follow the webbing. All right, let's take a look. Ooh. There it is. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna go and do uh, number two right here. Select that, press E. And I'm gonna be brave here. I'm gonna move this all the way till here. Okay, so I'm gonna press number one right there. Move that over there. Okay, over here, where are those two? It's those right there. A little tricky, all right? Because keep in mind, which one is this? You have to know where everything is at this point, okay? So we're just gonna kind of move those for now, move them a little bit over here, okay? And then we're gonna track this along. So first, we gotta do our cuts. Control R. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay, so let's position this now. The reason why I went like this is because you see that straight line? So I can just go G, Z right here, kind of move that. Move those below. Okay. Move those lower. And those, okay. So this, oh, did I have an extra one? Yes, I did. So what I'll do is delete this one. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to press X to dissolve that, dissolve edge. Don't delete the edge. Dissolve edge will take care of any extra points in there. Okay, so that's done. Now we got to match those lines here. Okay. So we'll go to the first one. That point. Where's that point? It's this one right here. Where's this one? It's that one right there. So just GY. Move those back. one right here gy 
move that point in there. This point goes over here. Let me fix that. Same thing here. This one goes over there. All right, so if you don't like this kind of shortcut method that I'm doing where, you know, if you're comfortable with one plane at a time, nothing wrong with that. It's slower, but it's, you're not going to get confused. It's, it's, uh, you're going to be sure of where things are. So here, I want to make sure I can select those. So that one is going to be the, uh, is that the tip? Did I miss one? No. All right, and then this one right here would be that point. This one is that. Okay, and then this one is that one right there. All right, so there's, let me make this in uh, so you can see it. This one, that one, okay. Let me fix that one. All right, now let's take a look. There's the nose. Okay. So what we can do here is just bridge this if you want to. Select that edge and that edge and then press F. This one and that, press F. All right, so accelerate your uh, modeling. Let's go here and select these edges right here, that one, that one. Okay, lots. So I'm going to press E, kind of like so. Okay, so let me do this now. So this one goes all the way up there. So we'll leave it there for now. We're going to attach that after. Uh, Nadia, uh, I think it was Nadia that... Uh, was following one of our video and uh, where Blender did a uh, keyboard shortcut change. So it used to be Alt M to merge points. Now it's only M. Alt M now. It makes sense. So they're kind of doing the alternate M, which is Alt M. So if you're merging by pressing the keyboard shortcut M, you now do Alt M to split instead of merging. Okay. So now that I've got all those kind of in position, okay. Over here, I'm going to go over here to kind of do that. So this one is, we're not merging that first. We're just going to move that closer so I can demo that one. So this one is that one right there. This one is this one. Let's move all this a little bit forward like so. That one goes over there. This one is over here. That one is over there. Okay, which is fine because we'll merge those. Okay, so I'm going to go to 3D mode here so you can see it. So I want to merge that point to that point, that one to that one, so on and so forth. Okay, I'm going to select this first. I'm going to select this last. I'm going to press M. And it wants to, uh, it's asking, what do you want to merge? At the first selection or the last one? Okay, so we want to select this first and we want to select that last so we want to merge to the last selection so if I press M at last it just jumps and snaps in there and now this is a single object they're together I'm in single point not object I'm gonna select this first I'm gonna select that last I'm gonna press M I'm gonna say merge at first selection okay don't get confused I just reverse the order because there's no such thing as first and last it's actually just your selection okay so uh, I use at first here, right? So on this one, I'm going to select this first. I'm going to select that last. So we want this to jump to the first one. So since I selected this first and that last, I can use the last command. Okay. The last command is merge at first. So the keyboard shortcut to do the last command is shift R. Shift and then R as in Roger. Okay. So you might say that's almost almost the same because you still got to do the selection, but at least you don't have to press M and then do a selection on at first or last. So it actually saves you one command. Okay. All right. There's that. So this should be almost done. We got those covered in there. Okay. So now just we just need um, 
this one right here. Select those. Press E to extrude. All right, so you already know what to do with this. We're just going to merge it to that one. So M at last. Move that one. This one. And that. And then this one. All right, and then I'm going to do number two. Uh, oh, no, so fix there first, sorry. Let's fix it here first. Okay, and then we do our last edge selection. Press E. M at last. Right, then uh, this one right there, so already in position. All right, and we are done. So I'm gonna turn off the uh, reference photos, turn off my x ray. Let's take a look at 3D. Here we go. All right, so now we are have pressing issues though. I go to the front we have a little bit of an overlap right here okay so now I can go to my modifier mirror if I turn on clipping clipping basically will not let you go to the other side so without clipping look at this one I can select this and I can go to the other side so I have this mess of a problem right but if you turn on clipping it prevents you from going anywhere so moving my mouse the hardest right here it won't okay so if you have that on as soon as you move it back right here it just kind of fuses everything in the middle okay so i'm just kind of clicking and slightly moving and it goes where it's supposed to go You could turn mirror, uh, clipping at the beginning so you don't have to worry about that issue. So now I don't see that orange line right here. So, okay, so this is part one.